Today we are going to create skirts using the pleats fold tool. Along with this we are also going to use the spiral tool to help with creating a circular pattern and also the pleat sewing tool to sew our box pleat skirt. Let's start with our sunray pleat skirt. I'm going to start by using the rectangle tool and create a pattern piece for my waistband that is 31 inches wide and 2 inches high. I'm then going to use the fullness line tool to add some shape to my waistband. I'm going to arrange it around the avatar. I'm going to add a little bit of strength in it to help me while I am working. Then I'm going to sew the center back together. And then I'm going to simulate it. After it's in place where I want it, I'm going to freeze it so that I can sew to it and it, so that it doesn't move. Next, let's create the skirt pattern piece. Now this could be done similar to the way we just did the waistband. But let's do something a little different and let's use the spiral tool here. And if you do this by changing the measurements in a particular order, it will be much easier to do. I'm going to regular click once here so that I get my create spiral dialog box. And I'm going to change the measurements in a particular order. I'm going to change my side measurements both to 12. Then I'm going to change my radius inner to 12. Then I'm going to change the offset to 0. And finally, I'm going to change the inner length to 31 so that it matches the length of my waistband and I'm going to click OK. Now I have a circular pattern piece that is a particular length, 12 inches, and the seam that will be sewn to our waistband matches here at 31 inches. I'm going to rotate my pattern piece here so that the opening is towards the back. Then I'm going to right click on it here in the 3D window and say Reset 2D Arrangement. While I'm here in the 3D window, I'm going to move this into place. Because this is a circular pattern piece, using the arrangement points really isn't going to work for us here. But what I have done here is I have placed this generally where this is going to go so that the back center seam is sewn in place and so the edges that will be sewn to here together from the waistband to the skirt itself are in place. If you would like you can go ahead right now and segment sew your waistband to your skirt. We need internal lines here so that we can fold these. It's a little bit mathematical. What I'm going to do is I am going to shift select these two segments that give me the length of my skirt. And I am going to right click and say distribute internal line between segment. By default it gives you one. Now, you can add as many as you would like. I am going to actually add 51 internal lines. And I will show you why exactly that odd number. My internal lines have been added here. And now they are in my 3D window. While they are still selected, I am going to check fold rendering. This will give me nice crisp folds. Now I'm going to 
strengthen the skirt. And if you have not done so, go ahead and make sure that your waistband is sewn to your skirt. Now we need to add the folds into our internal lines here. And we do this here with our pleats fold tool. The idea is that you need to click on either side of the garment, or the pattern piece that is to be folded. When you have a circular piece like this, you can click as many times as you want to make sure that you cover all of the lines. Once you have gotten through to the other side, double click. The pleats fold tool dialog box comes up. I'm going to simply select accordion pleats, which is going to give us our sun ray effect. Once you're at this point, you can simulate. It may do some funny things here, but then it will settle down and it should be okay. Now we added an extra pleat here to our skirt. The reason I did that, if you can see here, is so that when I do sew the center back together, these will easily come together right here. And I can also select this particular sewing segment here and change this custom angle to turned so that when we simulate, our seam will have a similar fold as the rest of the pleats in our skirt. That is your basic construction of your Sunray pleat skirt. From here, you can Now let's create our box pleat skirt. In this case, what we're going to do is create a shape that is three times as long as the segment of our waistband, which is 31 inches. So I'm going to create a pattern piece that is 93 inches wide and 12 inches high. There is some math involved here. I apologize for that. <laughs> Next, I am going to use my add point split line tool. And I am going to right click on the top line. This will bring up my split line dialog box and I'm going to uniform, uniformly split this line into 96 segments. Next, I am going to use my edit, so my edit pattern tool, select the two segment lines that make up my height of my skirt pattern piece, right click and say distribute internal line between segments. We need these lines to match up with our segment points. Although we divided it into 96 segments, there is actually 95 points in there. So I'm going to put the number 95 in there and click OK. As you can see now, I have an equally divided pattern piece that has segment lines running vertically. Now I'm going to use my pleats fold tool. I'm going to click once on the outside here and double click on the left here. And I'm going to switch to box pleats. Now you could leave the number of internal lines per pleat at two, but I'm going to change it to three. I have found that this gives you better results. This will also divide into the number of fold lines that we added on our pattern piece. 
Once again, I'm going to add strengthen to this pattern piece so it will help me when I am draping the skirt on here. Next, we're going to use the pleats sewing tool, which is under the pleats fold tool. And for this, I'm going to hide my 3D window so that we can see this a little bit better. This works similar to one to multiple sewing. I'm going to start with the waistband. And as you can see, it is a neon color. I am clicking on the beginning and the end. Now I'm going to come to my skirt and I am going to click to begin on the same side and begin to draw this across. And if you notice what Chloe is doing, it is sewing this in groups of three because I told it to have three segments per pleat. I'm going to bring back my 3D window. And what I'm going to do here now is I'm going to turn on my arrangement points and I am going to arrange this on the lowest center front arrangement point. This particular arrangement point is called leg skirt front. Now, as you can see, this is wrapping around my avatar almost twice. That's okay. I'm going to come down here in my arrangement section in my property editor and in the offset section, I'm going to press the offset slider all the way to the right. This will open up the skirt a bit around the avatar. I can then turn off my arrangement points. And my skirt has been folded and sewn in place. In the previous part of this video, I showed you how to add the fold rendering on the internal lines while those lines were still selected. If you need to do the same thing, but they're not currently selected, what you can do is right click on the background of your 2D window and say lock all pattern outlines then this will allow you to select those internal lines and then turn on your fold rendering. Just be sure that if you lock your pattern outlines, you remember to unlock them before you move forward. We're ready to simulate to see how our box pleat skirt came out. But what I'm going to do first is I am going to select the skirt pattern piece. And in the property editor, I am going to reduce the additional thickness collision from the standard 2.5 millimeters to 1 millimeter. This is going to help our pattern piece fold nicely. I'm now going to simulate Now, again, if you remember, I added an odd number of folds and segment points. This is so we can get our pattern piece to sew together correctly on these two sides. You will notice that there's a couple things going on here. One, this is kinked like this a little bit. This has to do with the particle distance. What you should also do, and you can do this on your other skirt as well, is take your edit pattern tool and select just the bottom part of your waistline. When that particular segment is selected, check elastic here in the property editor and change the ratio to 100. What that will do is that will give the effect of mobile on tape so that when you simulate here in the 3D window, your, the edge of your 
waistband will not become distorted. 